So this is the boxy box. So, so that was its loading screen. Let's turn it on. It connects. It has like a little home page that links you to some online stuff that you might or might not be interested in. Mostly you might not. And uh, this is the box here. So you're not confused. It is weird shaped. It looks like it's sinking into the table for some reason. It's got an SD slot on the side here. Um, the back here has an Ethernet plug. It's got HDMI out, optical out, two red and white audio cables and the power cable there. And it's got two uh, USB plug-ins on the bottom that you probably can't see here. So I'll show you how it works. So it's got this controller here. So it's got the, the pause play button on the top, the enter button and the menu button, and then this is like a directional pad to direct it. On the back here, it's got a full keyboard and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. That's just the. So if I click on shows, I can go to all the TV shows that are on my computer. It's a little slower when you first turn on the. Turn it up on. So, yeah, on my shows, I can go on the right. Oops. And go down and choose what. What order I want it in. or what show I want to actually watch and so let's say I want to watch Rest of Development okay well here's season one season two such and such and it's got the show and it'll show like a quick picture of it um, so this is just stuff from my computer so I go to my movies and I've got all my movies on here and they make a little picture of it and I can go in here and and let's watch Star Wars oh let's go to Star Wars so it's just got it there it'll show like a summary of it what it's rated in like if people like it or whatever and and I could change the order so it's like recently added or A to Z or whatever. Um, and I could change the view so it's like this, but I kind of don't like this view. It's too busy. So then it's got a bunch of apps. So um, you can do a bunch of different things. Like this boxy browser is a browser. I'll launch it real quick. And whenever you open stuff, it checks for some kind of an update real quick, and and uh, it's pretty fast to load. I mean, it's not instant, but so now I've got to use like well, this is like impossible to see. I've got to use this arrow pad to move the mouse around, which is kind of annoying, but uh, it does work. But the keyboard is pretty nice, so. So look, oh, Scott Fitzner. Well, let's search for that guy. Bing, oh, email addresses, oh, information about you. And so you can leave the browser. You also have like RSS feeds. These are mostly like my YouTube stuff. This is, um, yeah, YouTube thing or whatever RSS video feeds you want, whatever you're interested in, but I don't know, I don't really look at anything else. And there's a ton of like other apps. This isn't all of them. This is like kind of the most favorite ones or something. They've got an app for YouTube also, but it's not that user friendly. So you can also click on your files instead of going through that, you can go directly to what the folder is and whatever you've named it. 
These names of the folders don't have to be the actual names of the folders. You can change them if you want. So say I go to my video folder. I can go, these are like actual folders on my computer. So this is all my 720p stuff. And so I've got my collection of movies and stuff on there. So uh, yeah, so let's say um, I think this is a pretty good quality one, I think. I'll just, so when you click on a video, it gives you options if you want to play it, watch later. I think, I've never really done that. I think there's like a queue you can use. You can share it with friends. Like you can, if you have other friends with boxy boxes, you can see like what they've watched, like what they want you to watch. And if for some reason it doesn't pick up what the movie's called, you can do identify and you can search in their database if, and it'll 99% of the time find it. So you just push play and starts going and there it goes so when you click like the forward when you click like the forward button it'll track forward like 30 seconds or something and yeah and you can also like say click on it you click fast forward a little bit or fast forward a lot or you can track to the next video or whatever is is in there you can play with cool thing very cool you can play with the subtitles if you want you can turn them on or off and you can also search for subtitles um, by going in the closed captions and they'll actually search on the internet for a for a um, for the closed captions in whatever language you want so you just whoops just click on English and you download it and it works great. Also, if you ever get like a video that like the audio is off, you can change that by changing the offset. So you can move the audio ahead or behind and that's like live like right now. That's doing it right now so you can see where it is. Um, the video looks perfect. The audio is perfect. It's super fast. Um, yeah that's about it so what it's gonna be when you have Netflix is it's gonna be one of these apps that you can go to and like they've got hundreds of apps they've even got like church apps like there's like an LDS church thing <laughs> it's pretty funny I don't know what they'll have in Canada but I guarantee they'll be, there'll be most of these things on there but um, I'm not sure what and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, f for your uh, files, you can change the settings, and uh, you can um, choose how often you want them to, s them to scan your files. So, say if you're say my torrent folder, I always want that to update like hourly, just because I'm always downloading off of it. Whereas my video, oops, my video here. I only put like stuff that I want to keep for a long time so I have it scanning daily and then under like music I don't really download much music so I have it like once so that whenever I get new music I just scan because it's not really useful and uh, it's got like adult locks so you can lock there's like some gross apps on here so you can lock them off and uh, uh yeah that's about it so i i recommend it if you if you want to spend 200 dollars it's very good okay this, this is my goodbye bye turn off where's the off button